Hey, this is Jason Hoblin with Business Sundry. Today we're going to learn how to use XSplit Broadcaster to broadcast to three different live streams at the same time from the same source. So I've noticed uh, some people um, will use uh, like Facebook on their phone and then they'll use YouTube on their computer. Um, and then if they got a third camera or another computer laptop they use for Twitch and they're using three different devices what that does is that gives three different angles um, and you have three different videos and it makes things um, kind of complicated when it would be when it is much easier to just um, have one broadcast stream go to a whole bunch of different networks okay so in order to do that we're going to use XSplit broadcaster um, you download the broadcaster here download the file and install the software after the software is installed uh, you can open up the software which is this <laughs> um, and create these different scenes I'm gonna go ahead and make this thing bigger right now I just have on scene 4 my Logitech really crappy webcam okay so we need to add and authorize each one of the streams one at a time to do that you go up to outputs set up a new output and get more outputs I already have them in here because I've used them you will probably have to go to get more outputs um, here are all the different streaming channels um, you're gonna pick YouTube Facebook um, and I think you can just do a search like if I wanted to find twitch Do a search and then there's the twitch output So I'll start with twitch I already have it installed So I'm just gonna go up to output set up a new output for twitch Click the authorize button Each one of these is going to take you to their website just to log in. Okay, I am Jason Hoblin. Password. Ah, oh, come on. okay and then hit next after each stream is added um, it's gonna pop up and ask you a bunch of settings twitch also does this little server test so we'll wait for that to finish The problem with this test is that it's going to come back and say that my my resolution size should be somewhere around 500 or so um, and that's ridiculous I mean that's not even 800 by 600 so uh, I usually will just say never mind so just fi see recommended 540p that's that's silly just uh, finish I'm going to leave it at 1280. So now in my outputs, I have. Oops. Oh, this is the configuration that pops up each time. So this is for Twitch. Um, I really just kind of leave everything as the default. If you know a lot about bit rates and frame rates and codecs, um, feel free to mess with it. Um, I just kind of figure the default is probably the best. Okay, so then in my output, I have Twitch now. I'm going to go down to set up a new output and add Facebook. Again, if you don't have them here, you got to go just get the plugin from Get More Outputs. Facebook, authorize. And password. And so that's going to log into Facebook. Again, I'm just going to leave the 
bit rate's the same, and then click OK. All right, and the last one will be for YouTube. Uh, YouTube has a little bit of an extra thing where it will pop up and ask you um, for which channel you want to broadcast to. Okay, and so I happen to know it's this one, so I'm going to grab that channel and authorize the app for XSplit. It'll come back to the settings and then we should be all set. And then you click OK. So again with the bandwidth and the recommended bitrate. Um, there may be, I noticed in some of my testing that there was, all the videos were very choppy. There was a lot of bandwidth and skipping issues. Um, I think if you go into the settings and maybe set them all at a low bit rate and make them all the same, it might, might help improve that. Um, but that's the end of part one. You basically install XSplit Broadcaster. You go in and um, add the outputs that you want, and then the outputs will show up here. Okay. So then I'm going to switch scenes here. I'm going to remove this scene or that part and I'm going to remove this part. I'm going to add another screen capture, which is just going to maybe be uh, my browser. Did that wrong? So let's say I want that to be like half the screen and on this side. I'll just say add screen capture this guy. I think because join me is running, it's not working right. So I'll just do the full screen. That seems to work sometimes. Add screen capture. All the screens. Okay, well that's not quite working, but then I'll, I'll just add my webcam again. Put myself off to the side here. And again, I don't know why. Usually you should be able to select, like actually select the browser here. And XSplit will just grab, will grab um, that particular app, in this case Chrome. And then it'll show up on the side. So, or if you're in the middle of a video game, what you have to do is start the game first. When the game is already running, you can come into XSplit and then add the game here. And then you can click over to the game and you can put the box on top of your video and stuff on top of your video game. Okay, so let's say I'm ready to go live. I've got my text box, I've got my video. Um, I now wanna stream on all of these outputs at the same time. Basically, all you have to do is click on it. So I'm going to start my YouTube first. Give it a second to queue up. Um, you can change the title. I'm going to do... I'm going to change this one to... B Sundry X Split 3 Stream. Uh, tags, categories, all that stuff, how to style. Is there a technology? There is a technology. And start broadcast. Okay, so now I am currently broadcasting live on just YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and click Facebook. All you gotta do is click the, the button. Settings are over here on the right. You are now streaming live on Facebook. That's great. And the last one will be Twitch. Drop frame rates detected. That's because of bandwidth. And again, I think if you set the bit rate for all three streams the same, it might help. Twitch is looking for the, 
the right server, it'll probably find LA or San Francisco. Okay, so now I'm currently broadcasting live on all three. I'm also, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to record locally so I have a high quality of my video as well. Um, again, I'm going to caution against processor powers and bandwidth and frame rates. Um, you can configure all that stuff and kind of dial it in in the settings here. Um, but now I also have a local recording so I don't have to pull these down. And then all three of this one scene, whatever is going on on my screen here, if I switch over to scene one, I mean scene four, that had the big video, this is now streaming on the internet. And I'm still kind of upset that I couldn't get my browser in here, but it's not a big deal. I think you get the point. What I'm going to do is just check these real quick to make sure that I'm not totally talking out my ass. Let's start with YouTube first. Um, <laughs> a couple things here and I got a, a couple key notes at the end of this as well. Um, you'll notice it doesn't show up in your videos right away. If you go to your channel, it's not going to say, hey, Jason Hoblin is live. It doesn't. Um, I couldn't find it yesterday when I was testing, but if you type in your username in live, oh, hey, there I am all of a sudden live now you can click on that and that's how you find it you just type in your uh, username live now take me to it please okay I'll wait for YouTube to catch up Facebook I'm gonna hit F5 because F5 is refresh and F5 is your friend um, here I am live on Facebook so that one's working uh, if I go over to twitch refresh my home page so again this is running slow but remember I'm also sending out to three different channels um, there is Facebook live and this Again, YouTube kind of needs to catch up with this. Um, but it worked yesterday. Um, it'll eventually come up and show um, live stream. And plus, it's also dropping a ton of frames because of the bandwidth and frame rate issues. Now, as far as um, the videos, when they're done, um, when the these are all the wrong streams. Where's my, there it is. Okay, so there's the live on Twitch, there's live on Facebook, and again, YouTube's taking its, taking its time. Um, at the end of this, I really wanted this to show. Come on, Google, you can do it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sometimes it moves it down in the video order. Or if I go to the video manager, Creator Studio. Do, do, do. See, that says I'm offline. That's not right. No, it says it's working. It says Jason Alvin is streaming now. There it is, be some of your XSplit stream, but it says the stream is offline. Okay, well, oh, there it is. It's a different tab at the top. Okay, so there, it's working. Facebook's been working. Twitch is working. Um, so I'm gonna go back now and stop these. First, I'm gonna stop Twitch. Give it a second. Then I'm gonna go back to Facebook. Give it a second. Then I'm gonna go to YouTube. Uh, would you like to stop your, yes, thank you. And then stop the local recording. So now I've got a high quality local 
and all three videos will save to their respective channels. So when it takes about 10, 15 minutes for the video to appear in YouTube in the video manager and to really work on Facebook, it, it'll work intermittently. It shows parts of it for a while. Um, and same thing with Twitch. Um, give it a few minutes and the video will eventually show up. You can see there are my videos from yesterday. So now all three videos are also saved on those three channels. Um, XSplit is about $5 a month, $60 a year. It's not too expensive for software. That lets you do an incredible amount of video editing. Um, it handles game broadcasts very well. Um, and it does have all these cool features and scenes, which I think are probably the same in most video broadcasting software. Um, but XSplit seems to do very well with the gamers, um, which is why I was using it. Um, and then I saw online, um, one of my associates was using um, multiple devices to get the same stream at the same time, and it was given different angles. So by using XSplit and adding these outputs, you can get a single stream to go to multiple, multiple networks. And that's it. Uh, if you need any tech support, tech help, um, any kind of internet or technology consulting, remember to contact me at Business Sundry. And that's it. Thanks a lot.